you have a very important <coughs> motion concerning schools. The motion is this house believes that schools should actively raise gender differences among their students. To begin the debate, we call in the Prime Minister. Here, 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 here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I am Jamie Miguel. Um, first, I wanna talk about. Uh, I wanna give a scenario of uh, the said motion. The status quo nowadays is that many schools acknowledge gender differences among their students, and the problem comes. The problem comes along because uh, because uh, gender differences. Uh, Ha, uh, gives gender discrimination. So our solution uh, to this to this problem is that uh, uh, it's our motion. Uh, this house believes that schools should actively erase or eradicate gender differences among their students. I would like to give a policy or definition. Uh, we define schools as normal educational establishments, and we define gender as being male and female only, excluding the third gender, which is homosexual. Um, I, I will talk about um, the special treatments which schools give to students, certain special treatments which, which, gives, which schools give to certain students, to students. And my and the Deputy Prime Minister will talk about the rights of male and female of uh, boys and girls inside the school. So for the special treatments, um, we we are the the house saw uh, special treatment, treatments in entertaining students and implementing punishments. Uh, first we saw uh, it among sports. Sports like basketball, soccer and other physical games. Uh, most schools s uh, send ma uh, male participants for, uh, for example, Milo or other regional meets for sports to part uh, for them to participate in. Uh, why men? Because one, one reason behind that is uh, many people think men are stronger than women. And of course, we know that I, uh, we believe this is false. Men, women are not stronger than men. They should be treated equal. Uh, in sports, we, our school has uh, women, women, women athletes too, and this should be true to all schools also. That, example, basketball. There, sh there should be a girls team among schools, like. The Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi only has a um, basketball team for boys. And and yeah. Um, then the next special treatment we saw in the school is pageants. We all know that this school holds, well, we know that this school holds uh, BCCS every two years during its foundation day. BCCS is uh, is given is an award given to a girl, a student, uh, a student in Corpus Christi School, who has the, who who is a good example of being a good Corpus Christian. Why women only? Don't don't make don't men also have characteristics of a good Corpus Christian? There are many men there that can be good examples of being a, or uh, no, good Corpus Christian. And. And we and this should be this should be implemented. Uh, there should be pageants also also for men. Which yes, please. You said that only the the Cor Cor Corpus Christi School only fac facilitate pageants for the girls. But haven't you heard about La Cambini and La Candula who facilitate also boys pageant? It is mixed. La Cambini and La Candula is mixed. And and yes, they have boys and girls pan, uh, and boys and girls mixed there, but in, I'm saying Mrs. CS, there should, all, there should also be a Mr. CCS for, for men to show that they can be good examples, 
among the students also. Then, yeah, that's, that's what we saw in the pageant, the special treatment uh, among women for the pageant. Then in exercise, PE. Uh, last PE, uh, as men, uh, men were uh, required to make push-ups and then women were only required to make sit-ups. This, this gives a very, uh, this, this is very discriminating for women. They should have the chance to prove that they are as strong as men. They can do push-ups as, as men. Uh, uh, this should be equal. There should, not, there should not be differences among the treatment uh, in PE and yeah, in the exercise. Then there is PMT. I know, I know many schools have PMT during their fourth years. And many schools have males as their dominant leader or as their general, as their head. Why, why is this so? Because, again, many consider men as being strong, stronger than women. And then, they are more dominant, they are more uh, leadership-like, they are more army-like. But aren't women also army-like? They, they, should, they should also be given the chance to be generals. Good, good thing for this school, we, we accept uh, women, gen, uh, women as generals for our PMT. Um, Another thing, we saw a special treatment. Uh, many schools see boys as bullies. This thing. Uh, bullies in the fact that they, why do they, why do most people only see boys as bullies? They, they should also see girls. There are many forms of bullying, like words, like pranka, uh, making, making foul words or, or talking foul things against a person. That's also a form of bullying. People should see this and they, uh, this should be, this, uh, this is why men and women should be treated equal. Boys should, should not, are, uh, should not be only the ones, the bell is wrong, uh, should not be only the ones who, who should be seen as police, also the females. And then, males are always suspected for school crimes, most of the time. Uh, school crimes like uh, vandal vandalizing and, and stuff like that. Why male? Why male? Because um, many see male as rowdy, rowdy rough boys and, and see women as girls who are very uh, elegant and touchy and polite. And that is, that is so, that, that, should be, that should be eradicated as treatment. And then because of this, there is gender discrimination and women, women feel weak. And yeah, that's it. And my case stress. Here we have the speaker previous. We now call in the leader of our position. Because they are 
girls are always superior than boys because it is also a way for the boys to showcase their talent. And with the PE, you said that men are going to do with push-ups and girls are going to sit ups because some girls are not capable of doing such things, unlike boys. But Shame. not all, I mean, not all girls are capable of doing push-ups because not some girls are asthmatic or something Shame. that not, not all of them are capable with doing those things. And the PMT, the BATCOM or whatever that you have called, haven't you heard about our BATCOM today? Marie Gutierrez, she is a female. Yes, point? I said that. It was, I said that it was, it was good for, good thing for this school that it has a female and many schools would follow it. Yes, you said, but yes, you said that, but is, but you said that in our country that people not, that there is gender bias, but if it, as we said, if it will start in our school that, that, that there would be no gender bias, so it would be implemented in the future and with the bullies, because boys are associated as bullies because most of the time, not our Seldom, boys are the one in the classroom expressing their bullying with the other people. So, and now I would go to my legislation. We proposed legislation that would allow not to erase the differences in each of in each student. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Adjudicator, imagine a world where all students are inside a room to discuss a certain sensitive topic. Example, puberty, menstruation, a girl giving birth, and the different cycles of the changes that occur in the body to the body. What would you feel? What would girls feel when sensitive topics are discussed inside the classroom with men? I personally, as a woman, believe that it is embarrassing to speak about the cycles of my menstruation shame. with boys inside the classroom. Shame, shame. And that is shame. my point of view, Mr. Shame. And, and I, that is my first point in sensitive topics like boys, body parts. We all know that the breasts of girls are bigger than boys. And if we discuss it at home, some boys are not that sensitive enough to acknowledge that truth and they and that some girls are offended with that with that and also with the with giving birth the emotions that you feel a boy can can't feel the emotion or that's the specific emotion that a girl is feeling when giving birth because they haven't or ha cannot experience that emotion giving birth to a child and with it this point was a fallacy <laughs> and with the sexual with the sexual likes and dislikes and our different point of points of views. If we are having a forum and it's about our, the girl's likes towards a boy or a boy's likes towards a girl, it's different that it's different. Our points of views are different. So it is for girls or for boys, it is easier for them to talk about it when they have when they are discussing it with the same gender. And exact and our second second point is about the society, like the year we have a club equivalent, YLC, which is exclusive for the girls. Because in YLC, we discuss these kinds of topics and transformations that, that, that occur in the girl's body that does not occur in the boys. And this is exclusive for the girls because it is more comfortable to talk about it when it's all girls. Okay. And, and also with, with what I've just said earlier when it comes to its, 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 its emotions, it is easier to communicate, to tell to a friend that is a girl for me, for a girl, for me, for a girl, for a girl to tell her feelings to another girl when it, when it comes to her emotions about the family problems because girls are, it is it easier to explain or to share her feelings towards the same gender as to, to another gender because some girls find it uncomfortable or the other way around as to what boys. Like if for example, in our classroom or our society, if I have noticed, boys talk talk porn to the to, to males also. They do not talk porn to the girls because it's different. They have different points of view. So why would we erase that? So you would allow that boys would talk to girls about porn inside your classroom? And then it's even in our in our classroom, as I can speak as an example, if boys talk about porn in a certain manner inside the classroom, it makes the girls embarrassed of that thing because it makes girls uncomfortable as to what I experienced, Mr. Educator. And yeah, that is all I can say. Thank you. Thank you.